Welcome to Viking Basketball with Tyler Geving. It is Big Sky Tournament time, and that is the most exciting time of the year in college basketball. And Coach, we'll talk about our opponent in just a minute. But uh, Big Sky Tournament, like everywhere around the country, uh, it's a chance. It's a second chance. It's a chance to get into the NCAA Tournament, and uh, everybody gets another opportunity. Maybe um, the Big Sky Conference, more so than many other conferences, everybody has a shot at it. Well, without a doubt, and I think that's what uh, uh, makes college basketball. It's March Madness. It's, uh, you know, a few years ago as coaches, we, we kind of went to the league and said, hey, let's let's get everybody in. Let's get it at a neutral site. And here we are a couple of years later. And, um, you know, I think that's credit to the league to listening to us coaches and so forth and so on. But um, I think it's just going to be a great experience in Reno. I think it's something uh, not only for the men and the women, I think it's something that's going to build, you know, over the next three or four years. And um, and like you said, everybody's zero on zero. I think every coach, uh, uh, you know, has kept their team fighting and competing all the way to the end. And uh, knowing that uh, starting on Tuesday, you're zero on zero. Everybody else is. You throw the records out and uh, let's see who can get hot over, a, you know, five, six day period. Okay, Portland State opens up on Tuesday, tip off 12.05 p.m. so you can watch it from work. The Vikings playing Northern Colorado in the 8-9 game. Portland State only played Northern Colorado once this year, maybe the most dramatic game of the season. A Kalen Robinson three-pointer with two seconds left got the Vikings a victory. Uh, talk a little bit about Northern Colorado and we'll say this, they went into Missoula today and beat a team that had a chance to win the Big Sky title. So Northern Colorado's gotta be feeling pretty good. Well, yeah, exactly, and I think that's a great example of, you know, a, a coach keeping his team alive and keeping them competitive and, uh, you know, the old uh, format, eight teams would have gone, they probably wouldn't have qualified for the tournament, so uh, to, to be able to get in, uh, uh, you know, they kept their team fighting, competing, all of a sudden you go into Missoula and they, they win today, so uh, I, I don't, I'm not so sure I'm happy they won that game because I think they're going to they're gonna come in with a lot of confidence and they're going to be ready to go. And, Obviously, we, we, we snuck one out at their place, and I'm sure they remember that. So, um, I, But at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters who you play. I think everybody in this league can beat anyone. You get on a neutral court, you're getting on a gym or an uh, arena where nobody really knows you know, what to expect in there. So um, it, it's going to be an exciting game, and, and they're a talented team. Specific concerns about Northern Colorado as you prepare for them? Well, uh, Anthony Johnson, I think, had like 30 on us uh, last time and had another uh, big game today against uh, uh, Montana. So, obviously, he's a concern. Jordan Wilson, they have extremely good guard play. Um, I, you know, I, I, th I think they have uh, a great quickness, great athleticism. So, um, that, that, that's a concern for ours. And, they, and their freshman kid did a good job down low against us uh, down the stretch. So, um, they, they got nice pieces. They're a well-coached team. So, um, it, it's, it's going to be a fun game. Okay, and the, the thing that coaches always say to their teams, take care of the things you can control. Your team finishing the season really strong, playing well, going into the tournament. Uh, and what are you going to be your keys to preparation? Well, I, I think now it's just, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, it's more just game prep. I mean, you're not going to do a lot of practice or, or whatever. I think it's more about keeping our guys fresh and keeping them off their feet. And obviously every uh, coach is thinking, okay, we're going to have to play four games and, you know, in about five days. So how do we keep these guys fresh? So I think more than anything, I think it's keeping them mentally in tune and, uh, knowing the scouting report in and out and what team strengths and weaknesses are. And uh, I think it's more mental right now. And, and from a physical standpoint, it's more about just getting them their rest, keeping them off their feet, because at this point, I'm just not sure how much, how much better you can really get as a team. Okay, that's the Vikings playing Northern Colorado Tuesday. Tip off at noon. Go to govikes.com for all the information. You can watch the live video stream. You can follow the whole game. It is tournament time. The winner there will advance to play Big Sky champion Weber State on Thursday.